Well, Pusha T. Oh, my God. Drake versus Pusha T versus Kanye and all of this. Now, let's talk about flashback to what Drake had to say on The Shop with LeBron and Maverick when he was talking about how Kanye had information about him. I'm in Wyoming. I play on March 14th. I send him a picture of my son. I tell him I'm having trouble with my son's mother. So I wake up and all these dates are out one by one by one all around June 15th. Then the next two days, whatever, I wake up now to this text from him, like passive, like sends me something I did. Yo, I love you, brother. If Kanye did that, that's lame as hell. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, according to Pusha T, that's actually not what happened. Now, Pusha T has his own, and he, he is very direct and straightforward in saying how he got this information. Uh, here's what he said on Joe Button's podcast. The information came from 40. It didn't come from Kanye. 40 is sleeping with a woman. You know, he talks to her every, he talks to her daily, five, six hours a day, and ultimately speaks about how he's disgruntled about certain things, notoriety and, and things involving Drake and, and his career, so on and so forth. With that also came the fact that Drake has a child. With that also came the trip that everybody took to go see the child and bring him gifts and all, you know, all of this information. This she divulged this person. information. She has a great personality. That's where it came from. So wow. 40 was pillow talking with a young lady. That's what it sounds like. Now, if you guys true. remember, a couple months ago on my rumor report, I said this. But uh, according to a, a source that I heard from that's very close to their camp uh, with good information, they said it was actually a young lady that gave the information to push a T, somebody that Drake knew. Well, now it's a popularity contest because Drake gave a version, Pusha gave a version, and whoever you believe depends on who you like the most. Mm. But Pusha was very direct in his version. I think Drake had a theory about what happened is what it seemed like to me. It seems like his theory was that he was with Kanye and this is what must have happened. Yeah. And Pusha saying, no, this is actually what happened. So Why are people acting like the young lady, the baby mama, didn't have a Twitter page and was tweeting Drake, tweeting that Drake was yeah, a dead she definitely she was. Months, was, and a lot of people knew her. But there was like three women that said they were pregnant by Drake at the time. I just remember her specifically because she was a porn star, and I remember people was pointing me to that page, and the bio said Drake is a deadbeat dad. Now, there was, was a couple women at the time, I believe. Mm. Right, so I don't know. What, these guys know what the truth is. Really, Pusha T knows who told them. Period. Hey, and he's Ooh. saying that's who told them. Who cares at this point? I don't know. Interesting, people, though. People care. Now, let's talk about some new music. Remy, Ma, and Papoose, they have a collab together. And this song is about their baby, mm -hmm. their unborn child. It's called The Golden Child. Here's uh, Papoose's part. It was love at first sight when I met your mom, I was open. Well, she the queen I'm supposed to bow. Pretty face with a potent smile. We planned to have you back then, but tragedy slowed us down. Cause she went away for a while when your dad had to hold it down. I questioned God, like, why is this happening? You know it's bad. Everything that happened, happened for a reason. I know it now. We argue what we gonna name you. I feel that's over now. It don't matter to me, cause to me, your name is the golden child. <laughs> Man, well, dope. here's Remy Ma's part. part. Let's hear Remy's part. Said first comes love and then comes marriage. Never mention the devastation that had been a miscarriage. I was torn up, broken down, felt less than a woman. But all that pain was erased when the doctor said you was coming. Me and daddy were so happy. This is all we ever wanted. So protective of your presence. I was scared to show my stomach. The rumors had to dub it. Said pregnancy supposed to change you. My belly, your dad would rub it. He was hating on my anger. Papa really make me feel like I'm not doing enough. I, <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go get matching Pelly Pelly leather coats for me and my wife this winter, man. You should, you should, yeah. And y'all DJs better play that record too. That record's okay? dope. I like the record. No, I ain't asking if you like it. I said y'all better play it. All right, because that's like when somebody walks up to you with a Jesus pamphlet in the street, you can't throw it away because if you do, you're throwing away Jesus. You can't throw away Black Love. All right, you should tell you tell all the program directors that you're playing. Tell all the program directors that you're playing that record. I'm talking to a DJ named DJ Envy who got nominated for Best DJ of the Year last night at the BET Hip Hop Awards. That means you won the five, one of the five best DJs in the country. Sounds like you need to be telling Khaled that. I didn't win. Khaled definitely ain't winning. Because he won. I didn't win. All right, and last but not least, according to TMZ. Cardi B has some new music, but her team is locked. They're not sure what she should do because she has some songs where she's taking shots at Nicki Minaj. But her, some of her team feels like, just let it go. And this is actually going to benefit Nicki if you put the spotlight back on her. And so they think those dishes should be gone from the records. But 
uh, the strategies? Do we ignore Nicki Minaj or do we address it? The record I heard that I really enjoy, I don't hear no shots to Nicki in that record. Right, I guess record, she has right? a lot of music, though, that she's done. How many records you heard? Uh, one that I remember. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. You, you worked work there and only heard one record? Yeah, I haven't heard it yet. Mm. Okay.